So finding your ideal client. So you find your niche, right? Yeah. Now the big problem that I see with entrepreneurs and coaches is that they will forfeit their niche for cash flow. Mm-hmm. How important is it to balance those two? Like, is it if one was that situation where they're like, I know my niche, I know there's a market there, it's gonna take a bit of time for me to, you know, build that clientele up. Mm-hmm. Should I just get a part-time job or should I should I just take on any work? I've got all my friends asking me for this. I've got this random person over here showing interest. What, what would you do in that situation? Would you just do everything? <laughs> uh, no, definitely don't do everything, especially if you're just starting out because it usually means you're a one-person show and that's going to lead to burnout and that's probably not why you decided to start your own business. Um, look, I think it comes back to what I mentioned before that, that to have a business, you need to have money. Like that needs to be one of the the, the, the flows. Uh, and I'm a huge believer that for you to show up 150% for your clients, you have to fill your cup first. Cool. Um, having said that money is just a resource, right? So whatever a comfortable lifestyle looks like for you, you've got to get that right so that you can really help and support your clients to create the transformation that they want. So, you know, it, it, it plays in, it's, it's quite an open question because it plays into so many things. Like for some people, financial security is a huge part of them filling their cup. So getting the part-time job is going to help them do that while they're trying to figure out the clients. However, you and I know that if you put the work in and you actually do the stuff and you nail the messaging, we've had clients make 10 grand in two weeks. You know what I mean? Like I had one client recently that um, that had the security issue. Yeah, she had that financial security issue. She was in a job for six months working with us. The job was consuming her. She wasn't getting anything done. And she finally took the leap. Uh, we came up with an idea of, hey, look, quit your job and then go back to the same business and consult to them. <laughs> and the Love funny it. thing was it worked, right? She quit a job where she was making five grand a month turned around to them and said, hey, um, I know I've left, but I'd still love to work with you in my new company. Would you hire me? They signed a contract 15 grand a month for six months. So she tripled her income. (laughs) She tripled her income by going from employee to consultant. 